Hi everyone. Currently on TikTok and YouTube. Trying to see the comments. <laughs> I don't know if I'm, I don't even know if I'm center for both these phones. I think this one's like wonky as. TikTok, I probably should have put TikTok on something a bit more steady. Um, did you have any markets today? I was meant to go to a market today, but I canceled because it's too cold and I just wasn't sure how it would go. I just, I didn't want to get there and be there, like, it was, it was a long one too, it was like 9 till 3, and it was hour away, and then hour back. It just would have been a really long day, and I just didn't think I would do very well, and I just couldn't be bothered. I was, like, really tired. <laughs> I had, I was meant to have three markets this weekend. I did Friday night, Saturday, and then I was meant to do Sunday, but I just couldn't do it. It was, um like an agricultural show as well so it wasn't really like a market and there wasn't a lot of advertising for it so I just yeah I wasn't sure how to go so I didn't want to like risk going there and like having a really bad market day <laughs> especially when I'm like already like so tired Gonna cut some fabric and iron all the bows today. Cause I've got a couple more markets left for this month. I have CC, wait, CCG day, community college Gippsland day in Warrigal. That's on Tuesday. And then I have Mid Valley uh, on Thursday. I have Moby North on Saturday. I don't think I'm gonna do a Sunday one cause that's like Easter Sunday and I think Three will be plenty um and then I might do one on the Monday which is Easter Monday I'm not too sure yet um but I will be cutting some fabric because I want to make some more bows I've been bringing bows to the markets to I uh, uh, will make and I've been making like 50 bows at markets which has been great just like in between customers and stuff it's been working really well uh, let me know where you guys are from and what time it is. I'm from Victoria, Australia, and it's currently 1.07, like midday, pretty much. Uh, I was meant to be at a market today, but I decided to sleep in instead and do nothing <laughs> for the first bit of the morning. I've just really been working on like, um, my diary and figuring out what I need to do. And I've like been looking into like TikTok and like doing more lives and stuff. Because I do get paid from YouTube to do lives. Like the more people that view it, um, I get money from it. It's not like a lot for the lives, but um, still something. TikTok, on the other hand, is like 30 cents to do a live. So I, eh. But I am getting a few more followers. So make sure to follow me on TikTok or if you are watching from uh, YouTube, give that uh, like button a like and uh, subscribe to my channel because I want to hit 100k this year on YouTube. That would be great. I really want that 100k plaque. That's been my dream for a long time now. So we'll see what happens this year. Um, yeah, I've just been like working out this morning what I've got to do. This week has been sort of like an off week for me. I haven't got a lot done. Like, I haven't been able to film either because, like, I've just been, like, really sleepy. <laughs> I think, like, two weekends ago, I did – I was meant to do four markets in 35-plus degree weather. I ended up only doing two of them, and it rocked me. Like, I couldn't do much, like, that week. This week, I have gotten a bit done. Um, like, pretty much the only things I haven't gotten done was the actual filming for my – I don't know what TikTok just did. It just did like some weird thing. Um, filming the toy capsule. 
So I want to do my toy capsule video because uh, I haven't filmed one of those yet. I did make my dress um, for like the Easter thing and for Glengarry, which if you haven't seen my channel before, go check that out because I was super happy and proud of that dress. It was really pretty. I've actually ordered more of these little balls and I've actually ordered a whole nother one of these to do like a TikTok thing. Look, I don't really know. I don't get on TikTok often. <laughs> Like I've only just really started like the last two weeks I've been on TikTok um, looking at what how things work really because I'm very much an Instagram girly like you know I've got 109k over there um, I'm YouTube girly got my 70k there TikTok though has 16k slowly rising uh, so it's really far behind everywhere else <laughs> but I do want to try and do like more TikTok lives because apparently that's how you grow on TikTok so that's why we're on it and we're gonna see how it goes. Um, as for the toy capsule machines, I was thinking about doing like a games night. I have no idea. And like, when I've tried to Google stuff, I don't really find much info. So I don't know. I was thinking about doing like mystery boxes that you can purchase from the website. And then I like use the other one of these that I have, which is blue and like have stuff in the balls um, that, yeah, will be like a free entry thing when you purchase from my website and there'll be like heaps of stuff in there. I've like got um, like shipping refund or like um, the whole order for free, got like $10 vouchers and like just freebies and stuff. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that. I could probably do it across YouTube and TikTok as well just to make it more interesting. But yeah. And if you haven't figured out yet, I am a YouTuber as well as a small business owner, which is why I, yeah, I'm a bit of both. I dabble. I dabble in the uh, YouTuber stuff. I haven't looked at comments for a little while. TikTok is another world. Like, I have no idea. <laughs> and I'm not even that old. I'm just like, I don't know. I go on TikTok to watch, like, little videos and stuff. I, yeah, it doesn't. TikTok does not know me very well. Like Instagram on my business account, it's all to do with business stuff. Like when I go through the reels, which is great because like, you know, get inspo, get like, can follow new people, connect with new like small business owners and stuff. Whereas TikTok still has like, I don't know, it's just not my feed that I want. It's all just funny videos and memes and stuff. So I don't know, maybe I need to be on TikTok more often and like just try and yeah, get that. Anyway, um, I still need to work out, like, this is my to-do list, which is massive. What are we going on here? I have to reply to emails. Um, I needed my scrunch wall, but that's been kicked back for three months um, so far. <laughs> it's been a while. Um, I have to do my April launch, so I do a launch every month. And this month, well, next month, April, I do want to try and do it live. Cause I haven't done that before. I think the best launch I've ever done was when I really promoted it on socials and um, posted a lot of reels about it, posted a lot of info about it. That was um, back in June last year. And well, launch that I've ever done in most recent, like, you know, 12 months. Cause I have done bigger launches than that before. But uh, since I've changed the way I do things on my website, that's what I mean. Um, yeah, so I've got the April launch coming up. So I wanted to have like all the products made and like come on live and like show you everything. I think I'll do that Monday night and then Tuesday night I might do the, I don't know, the actual launch and stuff and like be on there showing you. Or I might just combine the two. I don't know. But that will be on the 8th of April, I think, because I don't think I'll have everything ready in one week because I've got just so much on this week, including like all the public holidays. Um... Yeah, I need to iron all my bows, which is what I was going to do on this live. Um, I have my charity scrunchies, so I need to get more charity scrunchie material. I think I might just use the scraps because for the charity scrunchies, I've been going to the op shop and purchasing um, like different shirts, so like skirts and stuff and making scrunchies out of them and bows and then donating the profits to um, like different charities last well last month and the month before like because i've combined the two they were for the black dog institute which is like suicide awareness and um like mental health sort of stuff um 
So that will be ending next week. Um, so those scrunchies, I'll like work out how much money um, I've made from those and then donate that. But I want to do a different charity for April. But I am thinking rather than going to the op shops and purchasing material, I'm going to use some of the um, off cuts and make off cut scrunchies because I thought that would be another good way. Because um, this year I do want to try and do like the charity scrunchies, but then also use recycled materials in the scrunchies, whether that be from the op shop or whether that be from just off cuts and stuff, um, just to be more environmentally friendly. So that's also on the list of things I need to do. <laughs> um, film the toy, cap toy capsule, which is that pink thing that I was just showing just before um, for my YouTube channel. So in the toy capsule machine, there's all these things that I can make. So it's like there's makeup bag, there's like a skirt, a dress, like that sort of stuff. Um, Cause I'm wanting to expand my uh, making capabilities this year. Uh, yeah, cause I don't really know how to like sew very well. I've made four me made items this year or including December last year as well. Uh, so that's what is in there. And it just takes the hassle out of like trying to choose something to make. Um, Cause that can be like hard in itself trying to like figure out what I actually want to do. So like just decision paralysis sort of thing. Um, I need to make some stuff for the markets, just like petite scrunchies. They've been selling so well. I've actually got one in now. So it's just like one of my smaller range scrunchies. Um, cause I have four different sizes. I have my minis, which are like quite small petites. This is this size. And my regular size, which is very similar to like the regular size scrunchies that you would see. And then my XLs, which are quite large, like six and a half inches or something. So they're quite big. Um, so I do make more of those. I've been very popular at markets. I also need to make um, pink and like more popular colors for the mini bows. Uh, I need to do like the key fobs, uh, white, black, and pink satin scrunchies. They always sell at first at markets. So I do need to make more of those. And then more XLs because the XLs have been selling out really quick uh, especially like on, in all the popular colors and I need to make lots more just to like fit on that board because there's a lot of gaps because I have like this big board that's probably like the size of me but like yay big fits like 70 XLs on it or something 65 maybe um so two per peg it's great I love it so much but yeah I do not have that much in stock I think I've maybe got 40 so there's a lot more to do. Um, I also still need to do my lookbook for March. So I've been doing, uh, I can't even show you cause I don't have an extra phone free, but I've been putting everything, all like the scrunchies for each launch onto a page so you can see it and it's got the names. So it's kind of like a lookbook sort of thing. I still need to do that cause that's a month ago. I was meant to do that and I haven't done it. Um, I also need to try my soldering iron, which is, this thing i purchased this to do bows i've been doing the oversized bows um for two no four months now and i purchased this because this um it's pretty much seals the fabric i haven't tried it before but i see a lot of other bow businesses doing it and i'm i'm a bow maker and a scrunchie maker if you don't know who i am by the way um so i do want to try that um, yeah, and then I've also got a phone call with Vista tomorrow, or a Zoom call, I should probably say. So Vista Print is, yeah, calling me tomorrow to organise some things. So I still need to do that and organise all, like, the stuff I'm going to say on that meeting call. So there's still so much to do, like, before the end of, what are we in? March. So I've got lots and lots to do. Some of this will definitely get pushed back into April, but we'll see. Alrighty, let me have a look at these comments because I've been speaking for probably 18 minutes straight. <laughs> Hang on, All right, I'm checking YouTube first. All right, what have we got? We got some people from Louisiana, Arizona. We got the US on today because I've been doing my lives late at night and it's been like 3 a.m. in the U.S. So sorry, guys, if you are from the U.S. because I know a lot of you are uh, that follow me. Um, 
Yes, I will respond to your email because I did see that um, in my inbox last night. I've put it in my flagged, so I will respond to that either today or tomorrow, but definitely we can add that to your order. The rosemary, was it, I think it was the rosemary bow, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. We can add that and I'll respond to like the rest of it too. So I still need to do that today. Um, well, we got Brazil, Michigan, Arizona. I've got a couple Arizona in here. Got Florida. We got any Australians? Nigeria? No, Niagara. <laughs> That's in Canada. Um, Oklahoma. Missouri. Missouri? Not Missouri. It'd be Missouri. What are the measurement sizes for your bows and the middle part of the bows? Um, my regular size bows are four by eight inches. And like the middle part's about one inch by, I don't know, inch and a half, two inches. What we got? Texas. We got some Queensland, here we go. We got Australia, cool, Utah, and Canada, another Canada, Toronto. All right. Okay. Let's have a looky. Let's have a look at TikTok now. Sorry, guys. There's probably a few on here. Whoopsie. TikTok loves to like jumble up the comments too. So it's always fun. Got a couple of people from US. People saying hi. Hello. Um, got some really nice comments on here. What time is it in Australia? It is 1.21. It's like middle of the day. We got heaps of US. We got Ohio, California, Illinois. Ooh, it just moved again. Do you ship internationally? Yes, I do. I ship worldwide. Um, I've also been in business for 10 years. I sell hair bows, scrunchies, and other hair accessories. We got Tassie, Sydney. Love your YouTube. Thank you. Ohio. We got lots. Plenty of people from overseas. It's a really nice comment from Bixby Legend on YouTube. She has started doing craft fairs. Said I inspired her to bite the bullet. That's great. I think my first, she says she's only sold $90, but thank you. Um, my first craft fair that I did, I think I made $18. The store fee was 20 bucks and my mum purchased two bows from me. <laughs> like, I think I had only three people buy from me, but and my mum was one of them. So yeah, it was, it was really sweet. So I didn't make store fee back, but yeah, that was like my first ever market. So yeah, to make $90, that's amazing. You should be really proud of yourself. Everywhere, everyone's going to start somewhere. I've also got the heater on in here because it was really cold, but now that I'm talking heaps, I'm getting hot. <laughs> okay. Any pointers? I'm actually doing a video on markets really soon. I do have a YouTube video up um, that has some pointers on there for markets and like crafters, but it's like five years old or probably not that old. Four, three. It was when I first started the YouTube channel. So I will be doing a new one because that's on my list of things to do. Um, yeah, the market video. So I've got, I've got so many, so much jumbled up in my head, but I need to like sit down and like think about it. <laughs> okay, I'm making, I'm cutting bows. So what size is this size? So I do a few different types of bows. I do the cotton bows, which are like for kids and stuff. I mean, adults can wear them too. And dogs, I've seen lots of people um, have them for doggies. But I also do like the new, like viral, big oversized bows for girls, like um, teenagers and like my age group, I guess.
do three different sizes of these. I call them the original fabric bow because I've been doing these ones for 10 years. Um, we've got the mini size, which is, got your pens out, <laughs> six inches by three inches. Then I have the medium size, which is four by eight. And then I have the big size, which is five inches by 10 inches. It's pretty much just doubled. Like any size you want to do, just double the length. Or if you want to say it the other way, just half the, half the length. Yeah. I don't know. You know what I mean? Do you do tutorials on how to sew scrunchies? Yeah, I have heaps on my YouTube channel. I've got ones for hand sewing, ones for like um, machine in the burrito and in the tube. So I've got a couple different ones so you can have a look at depending on what you want to do. And my YouTube is Taylor Rose. I mean, you'll find it if you put Made by Taylor Rose as well. If you have any questions for me, let me know. I'm currently live streaming on TikTok and Instagram. I mean, both are in the same position today, practically. TikTok's a little bit lower because I'm using both my phones right now. I decided to give my iPad a break. <laughs> I don't have my glasses on though. So like reading the TikTok comments is actually kind of hard. I feel like reading Instagram com not Instagram, the YouTube comments are so much easier. TikTok, like it doesn't like shade the background so you can't see it properly. Also, if you guys have small businesses, let me know in the comments. But if you are YouTube, don't put a link because it will not post. <laughs> But let me know what you guys do and where you're from. Or if you guys are just crafters or just like watching other people work, I guess. Because that's fun too. I need to um, try and sharpen these. My rotary cutter is going really blunt. It's been a while. Um, how are your wrists? I hope they are doing okay. They're good. I have carpal tunnel in both my wrists because I've been doing this for like 10 years and didn't do proactive measures I guess to save my wrist <laughs> so um yeah no they're going okay I haven't had a flare-up in a while I think it's been it's 
been a couple of months, I think. I usually only get flare ups when I'm on my phone too much, actually. I think it's like the weight and like the angle. So if I'm sick, I get flare ups, which is really weird. So like if I'm sick in bed and like on my phone a lot, um, I'll get a flare up. But other than that, it's been like fairly okay. I haven't really had too many issues since I got diagnosed a few years ago. I didn't get diagnosed last year. I got diagnosed the year before. So it's been a while. What time is it there? It is 1.30 p.m. So it's like midday. I'm from Victoria, Australia. And if you want to get real technical, I'm from Gippsland. <laughs> Fun fact about this fabric. I purchased this fabric, in like 10 meters of it, back in, I'm going to say five years ago. And I'm only just almost out. And it's been, like, it has been really popular, but I mean, 10 meters and I really only make bows out of it. That's a lot of bows because I can get quite a few items out of like my mini bows and regular size and even the large ones. Like when I do like strips like this, I make four big bows. Strips like this get me five. And then strips like this, I think it must be like six or something. So that's a lot of bows per meter. <laughs> And this one has, has actually never been on the website either. It's only been at markets. So I guess I just don't... I haven't actually got anything in this fabric for a while. So it's also probably the fact that I don't bring it to the markets that often. And when it does sell out, I just kind of forget to restock it. Because I have some other like unicorn ones that are really popular. They have like galaxy print on them. I should really do one of those in a mini scrunchie. They won't really sell. I got that one. So what's everyone up to today? What are you guys doing? Probably it would be Saturday, right? In most of the countries that are watching. <laughs> it's currently Sunday in Australia. I was meant to be at a market this morning, but I decided not to go because it's cold and miserable outside. It says it was meant to be 20 with clouds. There's no way. It is way too cold out there. I did a market yesterday. It said it was going to be... 20 with sunshine i didn't sunshine until like uh, 2 or 3 p.m in the afternoon well and truly after i was home from the market and it was actually raining in the morning when it said like there was no rain on the radar so yeah that was not fun for me yesterday really tested me <laughs> it was a lot actually the last time i did this market which was yarrigan um i did it last month and it was like an all right day like sunwise it was like kind of cold in the morning but still like kind of a bit sunny anyway here i am mostly set up it was like maybe an hour into the market and all of a sudden like, the sprinkler system goes off and like hits me in my stall and i'm like what's going on so i like run to move my big board of exiles because like hundreds of dollars worth of stock on it so like I like put myself in between the sprinkler system, which is, by the way, not just going like, it's going, which was not fun. I got blasted. 
Anyway, so I moved my scrunchie board out of the way and protected it. Most of the things, I don't know, it all dried off. Like it wasn't too bad. Uh, but then I asked, well, I actually didn't even ask the organizer what happened. I was just like, ah, stuff happens. It'll be right. I didn't really care because nothing really got damaged. Like it was just wet. Like, and I, like, I think the thing that got wet the most was me. Like I was drenched. Like my hair was ringable. Like you could like scrunch it and like water was dripping out. Anyway, um, she texted me later on and said like someone had actually like, pegged into the water system or something. Like someone had used pegs to put their gazebo in because you're meant to use weights here, which makes sense because there was only two sprinkler systems that went off. Um, there was one that was almost directly behind me. If it was directly behind me, I would have been fine because I had my back up uh, on the gazebo wall, but I didn't have my side. So it just kind of went straight into my stall. <laughs> so yeah, that was um, interesting to say the least. I haven't really had that ever happen at a craft fair before. It's pretty crazy. I feel like, I don't know how to cut this one. I have to cut it here. Okay, I'm going to look at the comments again. Oh, also, let me know if you guys have had something crazy happen at Craft Fair. <laughs> I think the most crazy thing I've seen bes before that was like people getting hit by gazebos and a gazebo landing on the highway and nearly hitting a car. What else? Probably more just flying gazebo things. Like, you know, a gazebo almost hit me once. It, um, this was years ago. It flipped and it hit my gazebo like this was again like five or six years ago and I went to like grab it I like I put my hand up to like try and catch it dumb idea Dev, don't do that don't do that you will snap an arm um but like as I went I was like no and I like threw my hand back because I was like dude I would have snapped an arm literally like because like it's a full-on you know probably 40 kilo gazebo coming at you in high winds not a smart idea Anyway, so that was probably one of the more interesting things that's happened at a market. It's pretty much just all the stuff that's to do with flying gazebos. I've never had, yeah, a sprinkler system go off. I've had like random storms happen. Like it, one minute, it's completely fine, perfectly sunny. And then all of a sudden, it's just cr like thunder, lightning, um, pelting down with rain. I think that day that was at Merbu and that was scary and it also happened like a month after at Mafra it was just insane weather like it was perfectly beautiful day in summer by the way and like 30 degrees really really nice and then all of a sudden it just started yeah I can't say what I was gonna say but very strongly coming down <laughs> with, with water so it was just um I'll be going on I probably should read these comments because I'm getting behind in the comments. Bows have actually been selling really well um, like at markets. I probably should put more online because I don't have a lot online, especially like in the different sizes. I've only got the one size online, which is the regular size. After I finish this one, I'll read the comments because it's been a little while. Time gets away from me when I am talking to the camera. <laughs> Got a few people from Alaska and New York. Got a few people saying what they do in their small business. Got a couple, what is it? Um, T-shirts. Oh, this person just uh, maybe does it for, Brianna maybe does it for like a hobby. She likes to draw and do T-shirts and cups, which is pretty cool. Um, an Aussie small business do wood burning. Mary and May Co. How many days does it take you to prep for a market since you also sell online? Uh, I usually 
only do market prep for either one day or half a day if that um yeah i try and do a lot of the market prep at the actual market itself for the week before so right now i'm actually cutting bows so then i can make them at the market so i've been doing a lot of the bow making at markets i also do like scrunchy flipping and scrunchy elasticating um, anything that I can kind of do without being in the studio, I'll bring to a market so I can do it. I'm very flushed because it is hot in here because I have my heater on. And now I've been talking for like 40 minutes straight and I'm warm. <laughs> what else? So yeah, I don't put too much effort into doing the market restocks. I try to make maybe 100 items like in the day to like yeah but then i also have like a lot of uncompleted things at any given time like i'll like smash out a lot of scrunchies like sew them all up and then i'll have like you know 400 tubes just sitting there ready to go like for the whole month um so yeah i'm always at different stages of the making process with a lot of different items like for example this massive tub here <laughs> i've had for I want to say two years it's been cut into like pieces like this when i did a live the other night i cut them into like the actual size that they're meant to be and now like they're ready to go now i well, not completely ready i still have to iron down the sides but like it's gonna be so much easier for me to like grab them out and just like grab a stack iron them down um apparently if you like the video it's better for it, someone said. So, like my YouTube and TikTok. I don't know what you do on TikTok. I'm not really with it. <laughs> TikTok. No idea. Oh, I did that one. Oh. Um, got some people from Perth. She says she's sick, which is not good. Hope you feel better soon. My paper kits. Um, got someone editing a video for YouTube. Sewing for my business launch. That's fun. Glad to have you here while I try and cut fabric <laughs> and get distracted. Um, Saturday night. And I spent most of my day sewing English paper piecing, piercing, piecing, and catching paper piecing, piecing. I don't know what that is. English paper piecing. I don't even know. I don't know what that is. Sorry. <laughs> my child like, figured it out in my head. I don't know what that is. Um, I'll catch you up on YouTube. Cool. English paper piecing. Can someone please tell me what that is? Because I don't actually... I've never, I've just never heard of that before. It's probably very simple and we just might have a different name for it in Australia. And I'm, maybe I'm reading it wrong because I don't have my glasses on. I can do stuff really close up, but if I'm trying to read from far away, not the best. Can't really do it. I'm also quite far behind on these comments and I'm not even up to TikTok comments yet, so sorry. What we've got? We've got 100 viewers on YouTube. There's only 16 on TikTok. What, I did a TikTok on Monday, just gone, and I actually had more viewers on TikTok than I did on YouTube, which was pretty crazy to me. Heat wave here, 40 Fahrenheit or about 4.4 Celsius. I don't see it. We must have like a different thing here because like 4.4 C for us is like freezing, like really, really cold. Like practically you're almost at snow level. <laughs> like it's really cold. Um... 
currently packing eBay orders and books. So that's Simone. Got sewing, baby clothing. I'm due end of May. Well, congratulations, Sarah. Um, got Jamaica, someone from Jamaica watching. You should write a book. I would buy a copy. I actually want to write a book so bad. That was meant to be my um, thing. Like years ago, I said, when I have my 10th birthday, I will have a book and I'll have it like published for my 10th birthday as like a celebration. But I obviously didn't have the best year last year, like personally. So there was no way. But this year I'm hoping to have a book ready for either Christmas release or my 11th birthday, which will be in Jan next year. Um, which I'm not sure how I want to go about it just yet. I've been thinking about it a lot recently about like what I want to write and what I want in there. Definitely like stuff to help other small businesses, maybe like a little bit about who I am and like what I've done. Um, just kind of like a concise little book people can read because it is kind of hard on YouTube because I obviously post a lot of videos and I'd post a lot of vlogs, but to find like you have to kind of search through a lot of stuff to find what you want whereas like a book it's there it's got all the stuff in it i don't know i can see why people would prefer like a hard copy of something or like a pdf even to kind of like oh yeah well she mentions this on this page great i'm gonna go have a look at that sort of thing so that's what i hope to do in the near future although i am completely <laughs> very uh not great with my words so i will have definitely have to get like an editor or someone else to proofread it um a couple of times or maybe even just write it for me if i like say what i want and then they make it sound a bit better uh because i cannot put english words together not that i know any other languages i'm just um quite literally a bit dyslexic which i found out <laughs> makes sense These ones have been really popular at markets also, obviously because it's like rainbow and unicorns. I feel like I'm almost out. Am I? It looks it. I don't have any others down here. Sad. Have you tried making coin purses to match the scrunchies? I haven't. That's one thing that I was hoping. Well, it's more makeup bags, but like, yeah, the coin purses would be really cool as well to sell. I think it might be in my toy capsule machine. I know the makeup bags are, but there might be coin purses in there too. I can't remember because there's some that I couldn't fit in because I had too many ideas. So we'll see. Definitely on the list though to try and make because that'll be really fun. I want to try and broaden my skill set, especially putting like zips into things. I still don't really know how to put a zip in. I put a zip in December into a dress, but I only had 40 minutes to make the dress. So I did not Google how to put a zip in. I just zip like literally just went and it was in. So it looks terrible. Um, but I tried. I tried. English paper piercing is a hand quilting technique. Oh my god. That will take so much time. I have to Google that after I finish the live. Because, yeah, I'm assuming that would be amazing to look at. Got East Coast USA. I feel like I've missed all of these comments. How did I do that? <laughs> I still haven't even looked at TikTok comments. I'm still on YouTube, sorry. I feel like I don't have much of this one. Do I? Uh, no, I don't. I'm not making that into that size then.
Do you have any favorite meals that don't have meat in it? Um, I have like this snack that I make all the time. It's not really a meal because it's like very low cal, but it's literally just capsicum. Like you cut the sides of a capsicum, you put a bit of like either tomato paste, like the pizza sauce or um, like salsa, and then you put cheese on top. I love that. And then you roast it um, in like the oven or the air fryer for a little while. So good. So I definitely love having that. I've noticed like HelloFresh have like a lot of good meals, but I can't remember off the top of my head. There's like halloumi ones. I love halloumi, so I've been eating a lot of halloumi based recipes as well. There's like this um, really yummy halloumi from uh, Woolies at the moment. It's got chili. It's like chili halloumi. It's so good. I don't even, I'm not a spice person, but I'm trying to build my tolerance. And that one has been really yummy because usually it, I, like water spicy for me, you know, you know what I mean? So I'm trying to like build my tolerance to like be able to enjoy spice. So I've been having a lot more spicy meals and, you know, curry and stuff lately. Which has been working because, I mean, I feel like some of these things I've been eating lately, I would have probably cried if I tried like a month ago, you know? Amazing. Have you started writing the book? I haven't started writing it, but I have started like putting ideas onto like a like my notes app um about like what I want in it and I've been sort of yeah kind of assembling my tips and stuff as well that I'd want to put in it so I haven't started writing it but I've yeah kind of started thinking more into it <laughs> yeah I love to have that book out either for Christmas or for my 11th birthday, which is in January next year. Oh yeah, what book have you started writing? That's really exciting. How old are you? I am 25, which is so old which i know some people will be like that's not old but i feel old grammarly is awesome to help oh that would be great i have to write that down grammarly because i did um i've just like updated ah what's this live age restricted your live may contain themes not suitable for young or just audiences uh okay don't know what I'm doing in this live that's so un not suitable for younger audiences, but okay. Um wait, what was I reading? I can't remember what I was saying. Dude, I'm so bad at that. That's rattled me. I'm quite family friendly. <laughs> I actually have lots of people at the markets come up to me and say, oh my God, like, um, I love your channel because like, you know, you don't say anything bad sort of thing. Like it's a nice family friendly channel. <laughs> Which I like to stay like that, I guess, because I know I've got a lot of younger audience members that um, look up to me and I feel like that's important to be a good role model for young kids. How have you been coping since your ADHD diagnosis? Um, I've been doing well. <laughs> I mean, it was actually kind of like, almost like, what's the, I can't even think of the word. 
but it was really good to be diagnosed and like finally figure out what was wrong with me. Not that there's anything wrong with being neurotypical, um, um, neurospicy, I guess. But uh, yeah, it was just something has always been like, hmm, you know, you shouldn't be doing that, Taylor. Or like, why are you like that? And I'm like, ah, <laughs> that's why. So it kind of like felt nice to kind of, yeah, have that. Be like, well... I literally can't function properly. Like, like that's literally what it is. Um, executive dysfunction. I don't have that. So, or I do have that. I don't know. So yeah, it's it's been good to finally have a reason why I am very scattered <laughs> a lot of the time. But yeah, I got diagnosed in late November last year and yeah I don't know it's been good because I, I can like things like emotional dysregulation has been good to like know why I kind of get upset about things or like I'm very sensitive so that's been good too to kind of like realize that um even like just giving myself extra time to like mentally <laughs> to like just like do nothing sort of thing has been helpful um because usually like I'll just work every single day and like I experienced really bad burnout probably 18 months ago like really really bad um to the point where I was like really considering shutting everything down and not continuing with my business because I was just so over everything that was going on like it obviously had a lot to do with other things going on in my life but yeah it's been good and I found like the medication has helped as well um I've just been taking small doses at the moment but yeah even like just taking that I feel like I can have clear concise conversations with people and I don't like jump from other things which is yeah which is good and actually, I was able to remember someone's face and their name, which never, ever has happened before. So I was so, so excited about that. I went to a market and um, like I had my medication and someone like come up to me and introduced themselves. So like, you know, they're from Queensland and they had moved to Victoria and like they knew who I was, like even before they moved, I think. But anyway, I can remember her name and her face, which I've never been able to do that before. When people introduce themselves to me at the markets, they need to do it like more than once. And people that <laughs> people that watch my channel and like know me know that already. But if you don't, just a hot tip because I'm really bad. Like I can't, I just can't do it. I just can't remember faces. Can't remember people's names. I was even speaking to um, Kate at the market yesterday or the day before because um, she's like, oh yeah, did you hear what you know? Catherine said about someone and I'll, I'll like not someone but like do you hear like she was doing that this market you know like not not um being mean like we're just talking about um yeah markets and stuff just random like names and um yeah I'm like who I don't know these names I've never heard that person in my life <laughs> and then she would say the business name and I'm like oh yeah I know who that is I've spoken to her like a hundred times <laughs> I just I'm really bad with names. I don't I can't help it. Like it's literally I just can't do it. Um but yeah, with the with the medication it has helped. So anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling about that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm super bad with names. Okay, I better read some of these TikTok ones because I haven't been on TikTok for a while. Are you on a YouTube live as well? Yes, I am. I wanted to try and like do YouTube and TikTok at the same time because I have 70K on YouTube and I'm trying to grow that. But I only have 16k on TikTok and yeah, TikTok just won't grow for me. But I find like the lives have been helping. They've been, yeah, 
People have been following from the lives. Can you tell I'm not medicated right now? <laughs> I'm like just jumping from one thing to the other. What time is it for you? Nearly 2 p.m. Got some people from England. Okay. Simone is doing a great job as well. Um, she's my moderator. So everyone say thank you, Simone. I think Soph is probably, I don't know. She's probably doing, I don't think she's on. She'll be chilling. She'll be chilling doing something today. So day off. Got Alabama, England. Have you had HelloFresh lately? I haven't had it for a while. Like when I first moved in to this new house, I purchased HelloFresh myself um, for a couple weeks. And it was really good because I was able to purchase like the big, you know, five, five meal, four, wait, four meals, five times, <laughs> like the family kits. And I was able to like pretty much last two weeks with it. Like I was able to like kind of like extend it out and like have it for lunch and dinner, lunch, dinner, and then make a new one. Um, so I was only cooking mm, two to three times a week. But then I stopped doing it for a little while. Cause I just got like busy with everything and I didn't really have time to cook. But now I'm getting back into the swing of things and I've ordered it again. So I've got it coming, should be here Friday. So I'm excited to try it out again. And see how that goes. I don't even know what I ordered though. I have, I have no idea. I'm also trying to get HelloFresh to like sponsor me not sponsor me but like be an affiliate with me so i can get like discounts and stuff i don't know i think i'll have to get on there and promote like a code or something because i know you can do that like you can share boxes or whatnot and then you get like credit so i think i'm gonna have to just do it that way because they just won't respond to me <laughs> it's like i'm i'm the real deal help me out here I had um, eFoods, they sent me like a bunch of food, which was really cool of them. They're like Melbourne based, like a small business, Melbourne based. And they were yummy. They were, um, they weren't frozen, but they were like snap fresh sort of meals. They were good. But I do also enjoy cooking, so I don't mind ordering the HelloFresh. I want to try all the other meals though because they have um not meals like meal dinner things like um dinnerly and there's another one i want to try but i heard that there's they don't print out the thing and i'm a very tactile person i kind of need the recipe printed out because if it's on my phone i may scream so <laughs> like i need it out and so i can just read it and touch it i don't know and then it would be like such a pain for me to like print it out. I don't know. I think that's what I read about Dinnerly. Let me know if you guys have had Dinnerly before or like these other meal services in Australia. Um, yeah. If you have any recommendations, that'd be great. You look 18. I know. Thank you though. Genetics. Or maybe it's the fact that I am just do like young person things, like make scrunchies. I don't know. Actually, the other day, so my friend calls me up and she's like, Tay, I have these tickets to a concert tonight and like everyone's bailed. I know you'd have no idea who this person is, but can you please come with me and like take the spot? And I was like, oh, okay, like I'm really busy, but I'll come. Because, you know, sounds like fun anyway. So I go to this concert with her um, and two other people. Keep in mind, these two other people, one's 20 and looks like really, really young. She's very young looking. The other's 21 and then me and Al are 25. So there was like a little bit of a mixed bag there. Anyway, so I'm in line with them because um, they wanted to get alcohol or whatnot. I'm not, I don't really drink at all. Um, yeah, not of them I think. Anyway, so I was in line and I was the only one. But he was like, whoa, where's your ID? <laughs> and I'm like, 
I just laughed because I'm like, dude, I'm like 25 because she he let everyone else through and not me. And I was just like, I'm 25, <laughs> but okay. Apparently I look 17. Like, oh, by the way, the legal drinking age in Australia is 18. So yeah, it's not even 21, it's 18. But I don't know. That happens all the time. Like I go into like a bottle or something and the security guards are like running after me. And like I've been ID'd just by walking into the bottle over before. Hadn't even picked anything up. I just walked in, hadn't even tried to purchase anything. And they're like, where's your ID? <laughs> I was like, whoa, <laughs> here it is. I am 25. Um, and it's happened before with, I was buying Coke, like Coke Zero or something. Like I was just buying a bottle of, yeah, fizzy drink. And they wanted to see my ID. And then another time I was buying a gift card. They wanted to see my ID. I was like, come on. But luckily I always have my ID with me because I get it a lot. <laughs> um, some people can't see it, which is fine. But I don't know. I get ID'd everywhere. And even if I'm with someone that's like, they look old, but they will get ID'd if they're with me because I just look younger. So yeah. Funny stories there. I just, all my friends don't have this issue. So that's why I'm like, what is this? It's just me. Do you do markets completely by yourself or do you have family member that helps? I watched one of your market videos recently and you had so many things to set up. Um, yeah, I do them by myself <laughs> in most cases. Um, I have had people come help me before, but it's very rare. So last year I did 64 markets and maybe four of them were helped. Like someone was helping me um, like for the whole day. My dad does come sometimes to like help me pack up or set up in the mornings if it's like in Glengarry, but that's only like once a month because um, he lives in Glen and if he doesn't have work sort of thing. Um, but yeah, there's it's not not many times, which is fine because like this is my job and like it's my full-time job. <laughs> I don't mind doing it. Like I actually love doing markets, um, but yeah, I don't have many people actually like helping me. Um, I'll try and get people to help me if it's like a big market. So um, ones that there'll be a lot of people at because I'm only one person. I can't really serve a lot of people at the same time or like interact. And if there's like, you know, four or five people in my stall, it's a bit much. Um, so I do sometimes try and get like my, my auntie or my mom to come and help me with those. Um, and I actually just recently did one in Melbourne and I just knew that one was going to be hard for me because it was everything had to be brought in in like a cart and you had to have weights and yeah and then you had to move the car so I did have um, a special someone come help me with that one um, so yeah he did a great job but other than that I haven't really had that many people come because like I kind of stick to markets that I know kind of like the layout of and ones that don't have weights needed like you can peg in um and if they do have weights I'm trying to do the ones that um yeah you can kind of unload really close by ADHD is not a curse it's a gift my son has ADHD most people who have ADHD are brilliant that is so true I love that oh TikTok I mean yeah TikTok's gonna end hang on there we go you have to do like a very verification thing for that um, I agree. I, I do enjoy having ADHD because it, it does have its perks. Like, obviously there is a lot of things that, um, are different with it, but I mean, I don't think I would have been so as successful with what I do if I didn't have this neurospiciness. Um, yeah, I think it just helps so much. Like I, cause I'm fixated <laughs> on making these scrunchies, you know, I don't know. Also, um, my two best friends have ADHD as well. Well, they're technically not diagnosed, but there's no way they don't have it. Um, 
yeah, they I think they're gonna get diagnosed this year. Oh, and it kind of doesn't matter anyway, because unless you you kind of only get diagnosed if you want to try like the medications and stuff or like try and do that sort of stuff. Um, and it's really expensive to get diagnosed as well. So I completely understand why people don't get diagnosed. But I feel like a lot of the times you can definitely tell if someone has ADHD. I know. Now that I ha like have been diagnosed and I've done all like, the research on it, I can sort of be like, yeah, I know. You, you definitely do. <laughs> um, you know. So, yeah. Anyway, back to these comments because I'm really far behind. I got someone from Canada. Sorry, I'm just reading all the comments. Got some nice comments in here. Thank you. What time is it? It's 2.10 p.m. in Australia. <laughs> Special summer, wink, wink. Yeah. I might I might share um, that info in maybe a month or two. It's been a few months, but, you know, I don't want to send him into the pits of <laughs> online just yet because people go insane. <laughs> Like when um, me and my ex broke up, that was just so hard. Like I was just reminded daily. Um, like I know a lot of, oh, pretty much everyone was being like caring and stuff. There were some that weren't, some of them were just being like nosy. But um, yeah, that was hard. Cause that was, it was probably six months before I even said anything about it. But like people started like noticing, obviously, cause I was in a different house and like, there was a like I was sad and stuff and like there was a lot going on so yeah um until yeah I just want to keep personal stuff personal for a little while longer and then yeah then I'll probably end up sharing but until then I don't want to share because I don't want that to happen again because that was like hard I've been following you on YouTube for a couple of years, but I'm failing to find you on TikTok. I'm made by Taylor Rose on TikTok and Instagram and Facebook, but I'm Taylor Rose on YouTube because YouTube's kind of like almost a separate identity, but still the same, same. YouTube, it's more of like um, a personality, like it's me, whereas those other platforms are more my business and promoting that. So that's why I've kind of like... It's separate, but it's the same at the same time. But I wanted, when I started the YouTube, I wanted to sort of have almost like a separate thing. Um, Cause yeah, it's not just about the business on here. It's like my life and, you know, just being a small business owner and tips and tri tricks and stuff. And then like tutorials, it's not just like trying to sell you guys <laughs> scrunchies. Yeah. So that's why you probably can't find me on TikTok. So yeah, just made by Tellerose. What do you do with your scrap fabrics? I have so many scrap fabrics at the moment. I want to try and do the charity scrunchies for next month with the scrap fabrics. Um, we'll see how that goes. Uh, but I also have a lot of things I want to do with the scrap fabrics, including a quilt and um, like a scrap fabric dress thing. Uh, also that's in that up here. <laughs> um, and if you don't know what that is, if you've only just joined, I was talking about it earlier in the vlog. Um, should I say vlog? Live. I'm so used to my YouTube channel and just like vlogging to myself in the camera, not to actual people live streaming. Um, this thing is my toy capsule machine and it's got like a whole bunch of small projects. Obviously the quilt is not very small. There's a few projects in there that will probably take more than a day, but most of them are smaller um, and they're just to kind of get me better at sewing and like my skills and stuff. So I'm excited to try that out. 
Um, and then like, obviously I did it that way because decision paralysis, <laughs> but also um, it's just kind of like a fun way to be like, what are we making today? Oh, this is what we're making. Cause I just spun this little doohickety. Um, what are the books on the top of your shelf? What books? Are we talking about these? Cause these are comic book boards. I use them for my fabric. So I put all my fabric onto, um, it's like a thicker board. It, the video will be going up maybe tomorrow, maybe next week. I don't know, <laughs> but I'm going to talk about all about these boards and, um, obviously the fabric wall and all about rolling them and stuff. But it's like, I can't really remember what it is. It's like a comic book board that is thicker than the normal one and it's current size. I, I can't remember the actual brand name though. All I know is when I bought them um, a few years ago, I bought maybe 300 to when I started this collection, when I had the little cube unit. Um, and then when I tried to buy more, I went to eBay. I got some that were like damaged, that were cheaper, which was great. So I ended up with 500. And then when I, again, grew my... <laughs> through my collection. Also, there's three of these bays, by the way. You can't see them in TikTok or YouTube. So there's three of them, plus more fabric underneath, plus more fabric in the cupboard. So there's a lot. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, then when I went to buy more, they were sold out everywhere, everywhere. I could not get them anywhere for two years. Two years. It was, it was hard for me. <laughs> Hard world out there. Um, the ones I could get were like really flimsy and I had to kind of like double up the boards. I still have like quite a few of them, but yeah, they're really annoying. These are all the thicker ones. Like they're still, oh, maybe that one's a thin one actually. I can tell the difference if I actually have a, yeah, actually, nah, these are all thin ones. So like they're still good, but like this one doesn't, flap around as much I don't know if you can tell yeah you can totally tell right and that's with three pieces trying to like hold that up they kind of like bend whereas this one doesn't bend nearly as much anyway so there I think that's what you were talking about sorry if that wasn't what you were talking about <laughs> thank you for the follow okay I need to try and pay attention to this for like two seconds because I don't want to like mess this up. I'm really excited to make um, like the puff quilt. I've got a few people commenting about the quilt thing that I was talking about before. Yeah, it's like a little, it's like a puffy quilt. I'm so excited to make that one. And I'm gonna make it rainbow obviously. And like have like probably starting from like light color, like white going into like yellows, probably like more so this. Um, so I'm really excited for that. <laughs> Cause I've got so many scrap materials. Um, I'll be surely be able to work it out and if I need to like cut some extras that's fine too I'm very excited to do that I don't know whether to like kind of do a small quilt first like a like almost a lap one and then I'll do a full like queen size but I'm very excited for my puffy quilt
What's your favorite color in the world to make scrunchies? Like the top, topmost color you love. Uh, pink. Definitely like the, the satin ones. I had like a dusty rose color um, and a dusty pink. So very, like they're very similar but different. I love that color and it's probably the most, yeah, it would be the one that I wear the most. I also love yellow, like pale yellow. Massive fan. I wonder how many of these I can do all at once. We got a lot here. Okay, I'm gonna try and read these TikTok comments. I mean, reading YouTube. YouTube's like just easier for me because I've got the iPad up on the YouTube comments. I could probably split screen. Hang on, let me see if I can do that because that happens on here. I don't even know. I wonder if it's gonna try and say that I'm not logged in though. I don't even have TikTok on my iPad. Maybe I'll do that for next time. But I'll try and read these. Ah, automatic download. Is that working? I don't know. Okay, sorry. Ah. I don't know. What does it mean when people like send you things? What's the gifts thing mean? I used to watch your channel all the time and I remember when you first got those boards. Oh my God, you must be, yeah, watching for a long time. So I got the boards like a few years ago. I think it was like 2021. Hmm, how to log in. Dude, I have no idea. Did anyone else get affected by that TikTok? No, not TikTok, Instagram outage? Cause it completely kicked me off of everything. Like I have multiple Instagram accounts. Like I've got my business account, my personal account. I have like another personal account and I have an arts account and I have, what else do I have? I've got several. <laughs> I've got four that are logged in at all times. And I had, I, I like went on to like post something about the market that I was attending on Friday. I think it was Friday. And it just kicked me off. And I was like, oh my God, have I been hacked? I was like stressed. But I'm like, no, I can't be hacked because I have two-factor authorization on and I have like all these things. I'm like, mm, no. So I was like, okay, must be down because it kicked me off of everything. And yeah, I started like look like searching it. And I must, I must have been like one of the first ones to search it because there wasn't a lot on there. But that one's like down detector and like it was like phew, massive spike in um yeah, people saying that they had been logged out from their Instagram. So I was like, but yeah, let me know if you guys also experienced that or if I was one of the only ones. Because out of like everyone I know that I asked, there wasn't a lot of people that had it logged out. But there was a couple. So yeah, I don't know what kind of caused that, but it was annoying because then I, I couldn't post or do anything for like two hours, um, which I know probably doesn't sound like a big deal, but I needed to like let people know where I was going to be because I had the market like in a few hours and I needed to like update people. <laughs> so that was annoying, but we got there in the end. So I just ended up posting directly to Facebook. Um, but again, Facebook does not have many people on there. I think I've only got like 4K on Facebook, whereas on Instagram I have 109,000. So it's not getting seen by many people. Also, if you'd like to go like everything, um, my Made by Taylor Rose on Instagram, Facebook, t no, yeah, TikTok, and then I've also got Taylor Rose on YouTube if you'd like to follow me. Um, try and get a little bit more rounded circle there because I've got, <laughs> yeah, my TikTok is very small time compared to YouTube and Instagram. <laughs> Okay, so I was trying to look at these comments and I got distracted. Do you need an ID to buy soda in Australia? Um, apparently you need an ID to, if you look under 18, to buy soda in any bottlers. Um, and so even chips, anything that gets sold, you need to have your ID on you. If you look under, it's technically under 25. If you look under 25, that's what you need to do. Because I questioned them. I'm like, dude, it's only soda. Like, what? And she was like, I'm sorry, it's the law. And I'm like, okay, yay. 
I don't know if that she was just being mean or something there. I don't know. Or just really thought that I was underage. I don't know. But um, I think it's just that it was just their job. I think that, yeah, she was doing the right thing. But I just couldn't believe it. I was like, whoa, like, why do I need ID to buy my Coke? Like, what's going on? I think it was like Coke Vanilla. Coke Vanilla slaps. It's great. Love that. Okay, again, got distracted. Someone just placed an order. Thank you if you're on live and placed that order. Much love. Um, they're all like the TikTok messages, like they get scrambled. And I can't really see. Do you do scrunchies for other businesses? I do wholesale, yes. Oh, that's what I was talking about before before I got super distracted. <laughs> yeah. All right. Hang on. Scattered. All right. I will talk about the wholesale thing that I was going to talk about in a second. But yes, I do wholesale to other businesses. Um, I have a wholesale form thing that you can have a look at on my LinkedIn. No, not LinkedIn. Linktree, which is in the bio of both TikTok. Let me just double check if it's in like the top part. I don't know if it is. How do I do that? <sighs> Probably not in there. It'll be on my Instagram if you go there. Ah, I don't know what I just did. It's also on my TikTok though. You can actually go into Linktree and it'll have like wholesale information. Now, what I was talking about before that I forgot because I am so scatterbrained. Um, <laughs> I recently did something that I've been trying to do and wanting to do for four years now. Every time someone messages me, it's like, oh, do you do wholesale? I'm like, yeah, I do wholesale. Um, here's like a massive slab of information because I don't have any pictures and I have no nothing kind of made up to send you. Um, work it out for yourself. Uh, I've and many many years ago and like even recently I've been like, oh yeah, the wholesale info pack's coming soon. Sorry, this is just all I've got right now. And it's literally just like this massive information, bulk information about like the pricing and you know the terms and conditions and stuff. It's kind of like yeah i hate looking at it so i decided no nah, i'm gonna do it i and i did it i went on canva and i made like this little website thing for my wholesale list so it has like kind of all the information you need and then people message me and go you know i want a wholesale and then i'll send them nice little pretty photo of my price list and i've also got a custom scrunchie order form and i've got a like a terms and conditions thing. So I got photos now. It looks great. And I put all these photos onto the website thing as well. Cause I've got all the different sizes and like a couple photos of them. And yeah, I was super proud of it. So if you want to go check it out, it's on my link tree. Um, I did that. And I also did uh, my affiliate link page, which again, I've been wanting to do for years and I just haven't got around to doing it. Cause you know, when, <laughs> hang on, let's see. So this, whoa, this book I've had for a while. Let's, let's see what the first entry was. 2020, January, 2020. So that is prior to uh, YouTube. Let's have a looky and see if I've got anything about doing this. Because I reckon it'd be from the start <laughs> and it wouldn't be ticked. Cause I started doing like this, um, oh, what's this? This is so fun reading back on here. Okay, we're looking. Cause I didn't start doing tick boxes. Like I have like a system. We've got a to-do list here. Here we go. So I started making like a system where I like are urgent um, I do social media, order stuff, YouTube stuff, market stuff, and then I'll have like other down the bottom. Um, so I'm just having a quickie looky at this to see if we've got anything about doing the wholesale thing. Because I'm telling you, it's been a long time. My gosh. 
I feel like this is all like the same stuff, just over and over again. It's kind of fun to read. Yep, yeah, we got affiliate links, October. Um, what else we got? Say the wholesale thing, probably more of a, maybe the next year. Got film TikToks. Got post TikToks daily. This is kind of fun, but I probably shouldn't be doing this on live. <laughs> Cause now I'm getting distracted. Here we go. July, it must be July, 2021. Wholesale, wholesale like list, which yeah, pretty much just means um, like the thing that I did. Cause I wasn't sure how I was gonna do it. I wasn't sure if I needed to do it in a way like I've just got photos and like send them or like I ended up doing a website, like just a web page. Anyway, back to what I was saying. <laughs> Wholesale, affiliate, and what was the other thing I did? My sponsor page. So I do um, sponsored posts. So I do that on like cross all platforms really. Uh, so I've done like a little sponsor page so people can go on there. I don't have my rates on there. You have to message me directly for that. Um, but yeah, like, you know, I share Instagram stories or I like do a video. It's mostly a lot to, to do with the YouTube um, for that specific thing because I usually do uh, video integrations or I do a video solely on that product um, or service. I've actually got a really exciting collab coming up with a really massive like international brand. I don't know if I'm allowed to say it yet so I'm going to keep that to myself. Um, so that's going to be really exciting. But like recently, like there's obviously Vistaprint, which I um, am with and do a lot of content for. Um, they've recently come and filmed me in my studio and they filmed me at the market. They're doing like a big video on that. Um, so I'm really excited for that to go up so then I can post that on my YouTube. Um, I don't know how to get back into the comments section. <laughs> there you go. Um, so I've got that. And then I, like I do Munbin. Um, so like... I like get products from them and like share it. But I also have been using Monday Bean for years and I just love them. Like it's great. Um, I use them like nearly every day to like print out my shipping labels and stickers and stuff. Um, what else do I kind of do? I had like a one with Princess Polly before. Um, so like they sent me like clothes and like um, money like as well to do like a video. That was a few years ago now. Yeah, there's like quite a few different ones, but I also offer um, like small businesses. I do not charge for like doing the promo, like the posts and stuff. So I like receive like gifts and stuff in the mail and I'll share it to my Instagram stories sometimes, but most of the time it's in my YouTube vlogs. So if you see me like unpacking something, that I've received in the PO, that's what that is. And they haven't paid to like get shown or anything. I just like accept those sort of things. Um, depending, like it is product depending obviously, but uh, I do try and like support like other small businesses. I don't want to charge to share it. Um, Cause I know a lot of obviously other, you uh, was it UGC, user generated content people would obviously charge for that. I just, being a small business myself, I don't want to charge for something like that. Um, but yeah, um, that was the massive thing I forgot about the other, like before when I was speaking, which happens a lot. I get sidetracked and then I forget and then it pops back in. Okay, I'm going to try and read these comments because I haven't read them for a while on tiktok and i don't i know tiktok always like jumps up and down with the i just placed an order oh thank you so much marlene thank you um do you have a horse scrunchie yes um i have to look in the cupboard though and the stuff in the way i think you have asked 
before. Is my brother? My brother's watching this. Lol, that's funny. Um, can I see the horse one? I'll see if I can get it out, but I just, I don't know where it is. And if I even have one left. Let me look. Having a little looky in my cupboard right now. Because I've got tubs and tubs and tubs of just kind of smaller pieces of fabric which can't fit on boards. So they're in here. Um, maybe I did make it all up because I can't find it. Hmm. I've got a lot of tubs. I'm gonna have a look in here, see if I can find it. But I'm not liking my chances. Because I'm, I don't think it's in the wall. Got horseshoes. I, just, I don't remember selling the rest of it though. So that's why I'm like, I think it's somewhere. It's just probably hidden. And I can't find it. But I thought maybe it might be in here. Because I used to store all like my pre-cuts in here. Before I changed my scrunchie measurements. So I thought there might be like a little pre-cut. Because I'm talking, this fabric's old. This fabric's probably six, seven years old. Like, this was back before I even started making actual scrunchies. Okay, it's definitely not in here. I'll have to have a look, like a proper look. You should definitely message me on Instagram or something and remind me, though, because I will forget. I learned so much from you and I long to go to Australia to visit Spotlight. Yeah, I love Spotlight. It's so good. What are you making? I'm currently cutting fabric to make bows. Like fabric bows. Um, like hair bows. Um, and how long have you been sewing for? I've been like making my bows for 10 years. 10 years and two months 10 years two months so it's been a while i started my business back in january of 2014 when i was 15 years old Did you go to the Eras Tour or make any Taylor Swift scrunchies? Um, I didn't go to the Eras Tour. It looked amazing though. I would have probably liked to go, but it obviously was really hard to get tickets. And I don't didn't have any Taylor Swift scrunchies. What was the horses just then with the pink one? So those ones were unicorns. Um, so that yeah, not them ones. Because I think, um, I don't know her name, <laughs> she's commented, I've met her at the market before. Um, yeah, she wants actual horses, which I have one fabric that has actual horses on it without unicorn. Because I've got a lot of unicorns, I've probably got probably 20 unicorn fabrics, but I do not, it seems, have the horse one. So maybe I did use it all. I don't know. I don't think I did though, because like I have a pretty good memory for fabric. Really weird, I know. And like, because I can remember all of the fabric names and like around the same, like around when I bought the fabric, I can remember. Really weird that I have like terrible memory across everywhere else, but uh, I can remember that sort of stuff. And I can remember when I have a little bit of fabric left 
sometimes I just can't remember where I placed it. <laughs> That's my issue. So I am fairly certain I still have a little bit of that fabric left somewhere. Because I tend not to like use the whole lot of fabric. I'll put it away. I'll take it off the website and then it'll go in a box. And then, you know, sometimes I'll be like, oh my God, I've got the perfect fabric. It's in this box. I've done that several times. Like um, when I got nominated for the Gibson Business Awards, I bought this green dress and it was like a lime green. And it was the night of the award. And I was like, why haven't I made a scrunchie for this dress? And I was like, oh my God, I've got no lime green. And then ding, oh my God, I've got some in a box somewhere. So I went looking and I found this much. It was enough to make a petite scrunchie and an XL scrunchie in that color and it matched my dress perfectly. So I'm excited for that. Also, I got nominated again, um, semi-finalist in the Seven News Young Achiever Awards. So I was nominated last year and got through to the finals. Um, and then a lovely, um, she sells swimwear, Ali, Ali, yeah, I think it's Ali. Um, she won in the Josh, Josh's Rainbow Eggs category. And then, um, I can't remember the other girl's name, but she won in the other category that I was nominated for. Um, so I'm hoping this year we'll see if I can get through and win one of the trophies. I'm not too sure because I'm nominated again in two different categories. This time, again, Josh's Rainbow Eggs, but then I've got Icon Services for Sustainable Business, I think. So we'll see um, how that goes. But when they come out, there's like this, like a popularity vote practically, um, where you can like go on and like select um, and vote for someone. I will be on lives and saying, please go vote for me because, um, yeah, I want to win that. <laughs> that would be great. Cutting through a lot of fabric right now. I'm not too sure when that comes out though. Probably, it'll probably be soon, maybe next month. We'll see. But when it does come out, I will be on lives and I'll be trying to promote it. Because last year I just didn't, because like, again, not the best time for me last year. So I just wasn't online really a lot at all. And I think like my business definitely suffered from that. <laughs> but now um, I'm trying to get back online, posting every day and trying to do these lives because I actually really enjoy them because they hype me up, which is really fun. And just makes the time go really fast, which I particularly actually don't like. I don't like when time goes fast, but it seems it goes super fast when I'm making stuff because <laughs> I like look at the time. I'm like, oh my God, where that two hours go? And I've only done like this much stuff. Like I haven't even finished cutting, like doing this yet. And it's been... If I've been on live for two and a half hours, that's gross, man. No. <laughs> oh, and I've barely got anything done, but is what it is. So yeah, well, thanks everyone that's been on live with me for that long, cause oh my gosh, I will have to get off live at probably, I'll stay on live until I have to go to my grandma's, not have to go. I go to my grandma's house for dinner. Um, which I'll probably get a call from my dad soon because my... Oh, what have I done here? I've forgotten them. Um, yeah, we take grandma out for dinner every Sunday night and we have since like a baby. She actually cooked for us every single Sunday since I was a baby. Um, and we like had like all of the cousins come in for dinner. You know, there'd like be 14, 15 people in, in this little house. And, like we'll be having dinner together and it'd be so nice. But as we've gotten older, um, I guess other people i don't know they're just too busy but i still go because i love my grandma so much um and i get to see my dad and stuff so um i'll be going there for dinner um but we'll probably be going out for dinner because like grandma's getting you know old and it's yeah it's easier if we just take her out for dinner but i love that so that's every like sunday i'll go there like i wouldn't even be finished my market right now if i was at that market I wonder, I do wonder what it would have been like. I feel like I would not have done well, but who knows. Because I went to a market on Friday night and I thought, you know, it could go either way. Like 
there's probably going to be a, quite a few people there with a lot of kids because it was an outback show. Like it had like goats and horses and like all that sort of stuff. However, people obviously were just there for the show and didn't really come and, you know, say hi to the store holders. So I made 100 bucks. Yeah, I still do bad at markets. So don't worry if you guys feel like you, you know, don't do well at markets. Like people who have been doing them for 10 years still have bad market days. Um, I was still happy though with that because it was only, I think, what, 12 minutes from home and it only cost me 30 bucks and it was going to a good cause because we were supporting Dolly's Dream. So I wasn't too bad. Like I was like, eh, is what it is. Um, but yeah, there's definitely still markets that you go to and you barely make store feedback. Like if I make store feedback, I'll be happy, especially like at a market like that. But today, if like I went and, you know, it was like a long trip and a long day. And if I only made like a hundred bucks, I may have cried on the way home if I went. <laughs> so I was just like, I can't do that. Like, it's just such a long day. It would have been freezing. And like, I try so hard to like keep my spirits up about like markets and stuff. But I think today would have defeated me if I went <laughs> and if I did that. So I was like, I can't do it. I can't do it to myself. I'm not going. Um, but yeah, it would be interesting to see. The last time I did like a concerty one, like a one similar, was Groove in the Moo. Paid $500 for the site um, plus GST. Maybe it was more than that. I think it was maybe 800 I don't know. And then I paid accommodation because it was over four hours from home. So it was eight hours travel time. And then I was there that night. I made, oh, and then I had someone with me. So I paid them a hundred bucks, just like help me out. And I obviously paid for all their food and stuff. Um, I think I made, after all that was taken out, $10. <laughs> like it was like literally just broke even. Um, again, I did take a lot of, um, like I loved going to that one. I'd probably do it again. It was really fun to like be in that atmosphere, but just people obviously aren't buying because they're there to see the concert and not to like buy scrunchies. Um, but it is what it is. So again, not so mad about it, but yeah, it was just sad that I couldn't, like I just didn't do well. I am like, tummy is rumbling. If you can hear that, I'm so sorry. That's so embarrassing. Um, but yeah, so I've had bad trade show days, but I've had plenty of good ones as well, um, where I do amazing. Like even last weekend, which is a March, yeah, a March market, I did really well at both Warrigal and Glengarry. Um, so that was great. Like sometimes some of these like markets can be hit and miss, especially in January, February, March, and even... <laughs> Probably all the way up until May. I feel like May. May is when they start like ramping up again. Do one more. But yeah, I was supposed to be at a market today if you didn't catch that drift. <laughs> but I'm not going. Which obviously I did forfeit the $30 store fee, but that's okay. Because I just kind of wanted to be warm in my house and have a sleep in. Because I had, it was just, it's, this week's been a lot. <laughs> I don't even know. Ah. Instagram on here. I don't even have Instagram. Oh my god. How do I get back into the comments? 
Also, those that have watched my YouTube lives before, um, do you think that this quality is better? Because it's on my actual phone today, whereas, whereas before it's been on my iPad. And I feel like the iPad's probably not as good. But yeah, let me know because if so, I will start using my phone more for the um, actual lives. My stomach's growling at me. I'm going to read some of these again. Do you need to call and tell them you're not coming to the market? You've booked or do you just not go? I contact them. So I try and contact them at least 24 hours prior. So I contact them yesterday um, to let them know that I wasn't attending. Um, they didn't have like a number to call though, unfortunately. So I just had to email them. But this one was like very relaxed sort of deal. But yeah, if, um, if they have a number, I'll either text it or call them just to let them know. And I do it at least 24 hours before. I don't like doing it on the day of because that's just hard for them to kind of like move people. I don't cancel a lot of markets. I have canceled three this month due to two of them being weather and one of them being just I was really tired and I could not. Just I just could not. Um, what do I do then? That one. So what do I do? Mount Mapra, Mount Martha, Mount Martha Briars I was meant to do earlier this month. Um, but it was super hot weather and yeah, it was also on the same day as another market I had, but my mom, she wasn't feeling well, so she couldn't do that other market for me because I accidentally double booked myself. Um, so I ended up just like canceling the other one and going to the one that was closer to me. And I did really well there because I have a lot of clientele in my front, which was really good. Um, and I had like one that was a free event on the Friday, but it was 30 degrees in no, like, no shade. Like you had to be out without any, um, like a zip or anything. And yeah, that, oh, I could not do that. Like I did that the next day on Saturday, I was still under a gazebo shade and that knocked me. Like I was so bad for like that whole week. Even now I feel like I'm still recovering from the heat exhaustion. Um, I couldn't move for an hour. Like I just sit down in the shopping center, like after I'd packed up and I was felt like I was gonna faint. I was like, so not good. I was really, really bad. Um, so yeah, I don't know, the heat, that heat was really horrendous for me. I don't know if anyone else did markets that weekend, but, oof. but yeah, I do just like let them know. But again, I don't really cancel that many, especially the day before. I usually try, um, if I'm not going, I'll let them know like well in advance. Reading these comments again. What are you making? I'm currently uh, cutting bows apart. Do you do cocomelon? I don't. I'm sorry. Do you have a photo of your awards outfit? Sounds great. Um, I don't have one on me. Do I have one on my iPad? Let's have a look. I don't know what's on here. <laughs> Let's have a looky. Because I've done like two award ceremonies. Oh, there's one. This is my brother. Ah, how do I get out of that info? It's not getting info. So I've got this one. That's me. That's my graduation dress that my little cousin's wearing. She's not so little anymore. She's like so tall. Um, That's from one of the nights. That's my brother. <laughs> But I was wearing this dress and I had the dusty rose scrunchie in the back. Um, I don't have any good photos of it though, I don't think. I don't even know why those specific ones are on my iPad. No idea. Because I don't think I took them on my phone. 
I'm just going to have a look for the lime green, lime green dress. It's not looking good. I don't think I have a photo of the dress. It'd be on my profile though, but it'd be like really far back. I think it was 2022 that I did that one. I'm going to try and do the Gippsland Business Awards again this year though. Let's see how I go. Um, so I'll be in two different awards this year. Okay. I'll read these again. I'm really behind on comments. Um, do you enjoy crafting with other people or do you prefer crafting alone? Um, I, I do enjoy crafting with other people as well, but I also like being alone and doing like, cause I get more done. Um, cause like I'll end up like talking and gas bagging <laughs> as usual. Like even now, I feel like I haven't got nearly as much done as if I wasn't on live. Um, cause I just can't help myself and talk, but yeah, is what it is. So I don't mind having um, someone else in the room. I like, okay, I do work well with body doubling if I'm like really in the zone. Just reading more of these comments. Simone's doing a great job on um, monitoring these comments. <laughs> My God. Um, thank you, Riley. How often do you change your ro rotary blade? Uh, when I can't physically move it through the fabric, <laughs> which is really bad. Um, I'm I'm too cheap. I don't want to like change it too much. I usually, yeah, I maybe, I, it's really hard to say because it, sometimes I cut a lot of fabric during the month. Like I just finished cutting my scrunchie wool. When I say just, probably like a few weeks ago now. Um, but that needed a new blade um to do all that but now and I'm still using the same blade it probably needs to be changed now but I'm gonna give it a little bit more extra time to see how it goes because I mean still cutting through the cotton fabrics it would just be like the um satin ones that get stuck and doesn't like cut through the whole way Okay, I'm glad the phone's better for you guys because I'll do the phone more often then. Because I just got, <laughs> I found my other thing. I don't know if you guys have seen like the little holders that like you put your phone in. So I've got lots of these. But for some reason, all the phone things are gone. I've got four of them. And where have they all gone? I don't know. So I ended up finding my other one though. Because I had a thought late at night when I was meant to be sleeping. And I was like, you know where that phone thing is? It's it's in this spot right at the back. And guess what? It was. It just popped into my head. Like, thanks, brain. And yeah, so I was going to buy a new one, another one. But I didn't. I found that one. So now I've got, um, I don't know, some of you guys from YouTube that have watched my channel. I have like that big stick thing um, that can do overshots with the camera. That also has um, a phone thing. So I've got one on that. And then I also have one that's just on a tripod. But now I can have both phones. 
because I have my old phone um, that I've had for a few, like five or six years now. And then I've got my newer phone as well. Which I'm really glad I didn't sell my old phone now because yeah, it's come in handy to do both lives. Okay, maybe I do need to change this because oh, I think it's actually just too, um, too thick. Like it's physically not going to get it with the blade. Maybe I need to get like a um, thing that connects to the phone, like a speaker, like a microphone. I don't know. Like have one here. I don't know how that really works. If I could give that a go, that might help with the sound. And I have one here. <laughs> I'll have two. I'll connect both. Where did you get your Made by Tello's clothing tags made? I got them made from Alibaba from a shop called Shanghai Green Goods Co. Uh, I'm assuming they're still open. I really need to like cut this in half because this is too many. Maybe I can do them like this. We'll see. That was way easier. Um, math skills on point. Thanks so much, Simone, for helping out today. Um, have you tried TikTok for your business? I'm currently live on TikTok, actually. I have um, a TikTok account. It's called Made by Tellers. I feel like to go soon too. It's time three. He's getting late. I think I've been on live for like three hours. That's a long time. Apparently you can buy a sharpener for the blades. I have heard that too. I've also heard about um, like using foil, like tin foil, and like cutting it. I don't know. I'm going to give it a go and see if it like makes the blade like a little bit more sharper. I don't think it sharpens it. It does something else, which is fine as long as it works. So I'll give that a go and I'll let you guys know how it goes. What are you making? I'm currently cutting pieces for bows. So I make bows and scrunchies for a living. I do this full time. I've been doing it for 10 years now. I purchased my home last year from my bow money, <laughs> my scrunchie money. And yeah, I love it. I sell online on my website, which is madebytellers.com. And I also sell on Etsy. Although I don't sell as much on Etsy because it's kind of not as great over there. <laughs> what have I done here? I like missed one. Oh, there it is. I started my business when I was 15 years old um, in 2014. So it's been a while, a long time. And I went full time about four years ago, maybe five. Tinfoil works as a very temporary solution for sharpening scissors. Haven't tried it on the rotary cutter though. 
yeah that's that's my herd so even if i could just get like a little bit more use out of um the rotary cutters i keep them all i've got like 25 sitting in a box so um even if i just like sharpen them all and like got another week out of them that's still you know quite a lot so i'll give it a go and i'll make like a little video on it Just checking TikTok. Shanghai Green Goods Co. Yes. Um, I think, yeah. I'm like 98% certain that's correct. I haven't been putting these with it. <laughs> wait, where are these ones from? Are these on the bottom? Oh, wait. Oh, my God. I'm up to it now. Come on. Silly goose. Got distracted. Can you make bow ties? I have made bow ties in the past. Um, like I have a bow tie clip that you can put on. I don't particularly make them unless they're requested though. I used to make them quite a bit actually. Um, years ago, I would have both varieties at markets. Have a Kai on. Hang on, I'll come back there in a sec. Your link tree isn't working for me. Mm, you could probably try searching maybe by Teller's link tree, maybe trying a different way. Maybe on a different browser might work. Should be working. But if you like, you put Taylor Rose or maybe Teller's on Google, it'll come up with like everything that you want to look at. Link tree just has my um, other links, like my wholesale affiliates and that sort of stuff but everything else like facebook tiktok instagram youtube will all come up in just a google search what does a bow clip look like let me have a looky i'll try and find it This, I don't know if you can mess with this. So it's like this. Well, sorry. <laughs> I've got two cameras on the moment. So it's like that and it has like a little pin. Like that. So that's what the bow clips look like. I've seen a lot of people use like just alligator clips though and like clipping it on shirts. So that I've seen a lot of and just putting on like dogs collars and stuff with alligator clips. Was well, it scary when you first started your YouTube? Um, I was really nervous. That's for sure. It was daunting talking to the camera, especially when no one was talking back. But, I mean, it, it did come, like, really naturally to me um, after a little while because I'm just, I'm a very chatty person and I can talk underwater. So, yeah, it it got better after, like, the first couple of videos. It felt more natural to me. Um, yeah, like, if you go back through my YouTube channel, you can just kind of see at which point, like, I got more comfy just talking to the camera and being on film. But yeah, definitely, definitely love making content for YouTube. So much fun. Just having a look at these TikTok comments. How do you get good at the financial stuff? Um, well, I have like a, what's she called? <laughs> An accountant. So she does like a lot of um, that sort of stuff. But I've just always been really, really good with money and budgeting and um yeah doing all that stuff like I've really got saving really frugal when it comes to like buying stuff um yeah I don't like buy a lot of like lavish things I don't really like, treat myself besides fabric so I guess yeah 
I didn't really learn it from anywhere either. I just kind of, I guess I, guess I learned the opposite <laughs> of like what was surrounding me. I feel like I've done this again too high. I'll um, split it again. anyone that's new because we've got a couple people just popped on i've been doing it for three hours by the way so i've been on here for a while currently cutting apart bows um i'm a scrunchie and bow maker been doing it for 10 years started started in 2014 um i have an online store i do markets i'm australian business where are you guys from <laughs> there we go that's like most of the question most basic questions i get asked like when people pop on here I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just going to read these um, TikTok ones. How many markets do you do a month? This month, I have book. I had booked in 13, but I will end up doing 10. So there's five Saturdays, five Sundays, and five Fridays in this month, which means I really could have done 15 if I wanted to. Um, but that's a lot. <laughs> so I did one. I did a Saturday, a Saturday, a Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Oh, actually, no, I didn't go today. So that's, scratch that. Um, next week, I have three more. I was going to do four, but I'm not going to do the Sunday one anymore. Um, that was one you just like kind of rock up to. So I'm doing one on Tuesday during the day. It's like a fair day. And then I'm doing Mid Valley, which is like at a shopping center. And then I've got Moby North, which should be a big one because they had this massive storm come through um, on the 13th of February and it like was horrible it, like destroyed so much of like their um like I think their swimming pools and like houses and I think someone like died like it was it was really really horrible um so we didn't do a market there last month because I was still like kind of recovering but this month we'll be the first one back and I think like the might be doing fundraising or something. I know they've been doing a lot of fundraising and like trying to get people out there and helping, um, you know, build the community back up. But yeah, so sad. We've got the market, which should bring a lot more people into the area and like support local businesses in there. Cause yeah, it's just, um, it's yeah, horrible what happened. I don't know if you guys had, if you guys are from like Melbourne or Victoria in general, um, that day was crazy crazy like it was I like being in my house I'm very like, I'm close to a field I got two fields practically next to me so I was copping it and the second story I thought it was gonna blow off like I thought I was gonna be like <laughs> doing some Wizard of Oz stuff being Dorothy I don't know going flying around because that was rough it was really really strong and like half like my power was out for a few days I know a lot of other people's power was out for a few days, um, for like even a week. Yeah. I like the, I was actually flying out to Queensland the next morning. So I couldn't even do anything about it. It was actually probably a good thing I was going to Queensland because I didn't have to worry about being home alone without any power. But it was also like, I was scared of looters and stuff. So I had um, someone come check on the house for me like probably twice a, twice a day or something, which was really good. Of them. They also stayed here in the dark for me, which was so sweet. I was like, yeah. Because, like, there was no reception either because Telstra just, like, decided not to work. And Optus doesn't really work here um, where I live. So, yeah, it was um, interesting, to say the least. They must have, yeah, they had, like, five towers down or something. Like, the wind was just... Yeah, next level. If you guys um, experienced that, let me know. It was like 13th of February. I remember it being the day before Valentine's Day because I flew out on Valentine's Day. And we went for um, dinner and the like for Valentine's Day and th that one street that had the um, like the restaurant on it was the only street that was lit in the whole town. Like it, all, all the other streets were off. Like it was just that one street and maybe like another side street that was still, still had electricity. Like all the lights, like, um, all like the power lights and stuff, street lights, all the traffic lights and all like the shops, 
all completely like no power so it was very daunting to say the least What's your next big purchase going to be or your biggest goal to achieve? Um, I really want to buy a new car. And when I say new, I just mean like a newer one than mine. Um, that would be cool. Or maybe travel back to Japan or travel overseas. I would love to do um, Europe. But I feel like that's more of a next year thing for me. It's beeping. So, yeah, we'll see. But I would like to... Um, purchase a car i don't know what car yet but i was looking at them when before i bought the house i was looking at purchasing a car but then i ended up putting all my money into buying the house instead which i think was a obviously a smarter investment um for me because my car is fine it's still running it's just it is quite old i've had it for a long time now but then again, I don't know if I would want like a very new car because I do a lot of markets. I throw stuff in there. Like I'm not exactly like delicate when I put stuff in. I just, I don't know if that's just a me thing, but I feel like if I'm holding something and there's a wall, I'm a smack into the wall. Like not on purpose. I just, the, like the spatial awareness, like this sort of stuff, always knocking into it, um, stubborn my toes like running into walls like i'll just like be walking and like i'll hit a wall like i'll just whack, whack into one i don't know i don't know if <laughs> i'm just yeah just happens spatial awareness not so great like i just i already have so many dints in my house from that just like because i just don't i'm like oh yeah that'll fit <laughs> ding but yeah at least it's my house it's not a rental so i don't mind so much but I feel like I probably wouldn't care as much anyway if it was my car um, and, like, I'd paid for it. I probably wouldn't care either. So, I don't know. Like, I'd care, obviously, about my product, like, my stuff. But I'd also be like, it's a car, you know. It's not, um, like, a real person. <laughs> She'll be right, sort of thing. If it's got a tiny little scratch on the side, it'll be, it'll be fine. It's not going to do anything. Oh, bye, Simone. Okay, I'm going to try and finish these ones. How do you manage the business when you are traveling? Um, I usually close everything down or I put like a big turnaround time on. So I think the longest I've traveled is about two weeks. So I'll just put on, you know, that I'm going to be away uh, for two weeks. And yeah, people are pretty understanding about that. And I just... Yeah, every time I post, I'll be like, I'm away, sort of thing. Um, so that's pretty much what I do. I haven't really traveled anywhere for longer than two weeks yet, so we'll see. Also, hot tip, never, ever, ever put your Etsy shop on travel mode. It will destroy it. <laughs> I did it once back in 2017, and it took me, like, at least a year to come back in the search feeds. Like, it was so bad. Um, so now I just extend the processing times out by heaps. Yeah, don't do that to yourself. Okay. How do you decide if you should buy something or not for your business or yourself? Um, I will usually like ponder it for a while. Like I won't just be like, oh, I need this and go buy it. I will think about it for like a month, even two months, even longer. And I'll be like, put it on the list and yeah, if I still want it after like all that time, then I'll get it or I'll wait till it's on sale. So like if it's, um, I don't know, like a pair of jeans that I like or something, I will not buy them full price. I'll always wait till they're on sale. I had like a dress. I don't know if you guys have seen it. I call it the potato sack dress, but it's like a, a pinky gingham dress that I got from Seed. Um, I saw it probably, I don't know, August last year. 
and I just was looking um every time I'd go into seed or like look around seed I would always just check if it was on sale yet and I waited until it was on sale and bought it um and then I think I also waited until like it had an extra percentage off so I got the dress that was meant to be like 200 bucks or something for 80 like it was a big difference and I think they went even more cheap but I was scared that my size would run out, so I did buy it when I did. And I'm glad I did because it was a really cute dress. I feel like I could get all these done at once if I, like, start making multiple piles. But I might get confused. Have you ever done or thought about doing a live sale? I actually have... Like, where's my little post? I had a post-it note somewhere about a games night thing. Yes, so I will be doing that when I launch my next product release, which will be in April. Um, and I'll be doing, like, yeah, the new product release. And then I'm thinking about doing, like, the game night thing. But I don't really know how that would go. So maybe I'll do the games night thing on a different day and then just do the product release. Um, baby steps, you know, because I haven't done that before. So I'll be doing that in April, early April. Come on live and just show you guys what I've made. All the new stuff and have chats. And I'll probably like have a special like sale coupon code or something for TikTok and YouTube. Um, what is the new product or is it a secret? Um, I will be making new bows. So not these sort of bows. I'll be making bows for like, um, teenage slash young adult. Um, like, you know, those big oversized ones, I'm going to make a new range of those and I'm going to do more like smaller petite ones as well. So I've got lots more bows coming. Plus I've got all the scrunchies and stuff as well. Um, as per usual, I try and do a product release every month um with usually has scrunchies and a couple of like these sort of bows like the smaller ones um in the fabric but yeah last month i did the scrunchies in all sizes hair bows oversized bows which are the big satin ones um key fobs and scrunchy key fobs scrunchy wristlet things that i do so i had a whole bunch of things yeah, next month I'll probably have very similar um, with lots, lots and lots that are going on sale. All right, I need to try and see. Have you tried TikTok shop? I haven't tried TikTok shop. I need to Google that and like see what it is because I don't really know what it is. Um, I know I kind of like touched on this earlier. How many markets do you do a month? I usually only do like six, but just this month I've got a lot. I'm trying to like read these TikTok ones. My arm's hurting. Okay. I'm giving up on TikTok reading those comments because they're, it's hard. Um, do you remember how much you made in your first year of business? I do. I made $4,000 in my first year of business when I was 15 years old. To me at that time, that was a crazy amount of money because I was so young and yeah, I tried to, I did save a lot of it, but I also reinvested it back into the business to yeah make more stuff and buy more, buy more stuff. Like fabrics and that um so yeah but as i said i was very young when i started 10 years ago and i don't know if i mentioned this but i actually only started with 20 dollars. like that's how i started my business with 20 bucks i'm gonna make a video on it um like how i started my business with 20 dollar note because <laughs> i think that's like yeah, it's like a really cool thing to think about 
how I started from $20 and now I have a six figure business, like just kind of compounding. <laughs> All right, I will be getting off soon. So if you have any other questions, let me know because I'm going to answer them and then hop off because I'm practically finished doing what I was going to do. Well, not what I was going to do because I was going to iron the bows, but <laughs> as it turns out, um, this has taken me like quite literally three hours, three and a half hours pretty much. So it's been a while. I feel like I should be dividing these into two piles. Okay, I'm going to read the comments again. Bye, Kai. Do you make more online at markets? Uh, depends on the year. Like obviously when we had COVID, um, I made more, way more online because we didn't have markets. <laughs> um, last year though, for example, it was very, very evenly split. It was like 30, 30, 30, like 30% YouTube, 30% online and 30% at markets. Actually, that doesn't sound right. It might've been like a bigger chunk for the online and at markets. It was like almost even. Um, but yeah, and then YouTube came in. Must have been bigger. Yeah, because YouTube, I, I didn't make as much as the other two. Yeah, but yeah, it was, yeah. Um, very even. It's evening out. But yeah, it used to be I made a lot of mo more money online. But last year, I just, I wasn't really um, selling a lot. I guess online and stuff and I took kind of a big step back for most of the year so um yeah that's why I wasn't selling as much online but usually online I do more sales because I'm like internationally based some of these are not gonna have anything on them okay I'm gonna try and read the rest of these comments <laughs> what's it all? What advice do you give to someone who struggles with counting money and adding up totals at your craft markets? Um, set um, easy numbers. So numbers that, like, for example, I have very similar numbers at my store. So I've got, like, ones that are $5, um, $12, like, $10, like, kind of very easy to add up. Um, I don't have anything that's, like, $7 because sevens, I know, throw me a bit. Like, I am very good at math, but, um, like, they tend to throw a lot of people. Um, so, a lot of even numbers. Pretty much everything in my store is even, actually. So, I do a lot of stuff that's even. And then, when I do the bulk buy deals, I try and have them very similar pricing as well. Um, that helps with adding up quick. But also, there's no shame in using a calculator. If you're just, you know, you can just go on there, go, oh, yeah, there's 12, 10, 5, you know? Um there's no shame in that so if you need to do that that's okay too um no one's gonna like you know be mad at you for that and if they are they're a really horrible person <laughs> but yeah most people are nicer markets okay i'm reading the rest of these comments what's a typical day like for you doing your business um typical day would be wake up go for a walk and then when I get back, I'll start on what I've got done, what, what I've got on for the day. Because usually every day is different. Mondays, I try and get admin done or have a personal day. Tuesdays, um, I do orders. Wednesdays, I do either orders or YouTube or market prep. There's like YouTube's, I mean, Wednesday's kind of like my fit it in day. 
I've been trying to do YouTube content though on Wednesday, like um, filming. Um, if I'm not doing a vlog, I like to try and film something else. Um, Thursday is my editing day and market prep day. And then Friday is my actual market prep day <laughs> that I try and like block out. Um, also, I forgot to mention Monday is usually my orders day. If I'm, but if I don't have many orders, I'll try and just do them Tuesday and like have some time off or whatnot. Um, then Saturday and Sunday, I usually have markets. And then when I get home from the markets, I'll most likely still work and do more market prep or I'll do something else. Um, but sometimes I have some time off. Not all the time, but sometimes. <laughs> so yeah, uh, every week is just very busy for me. Lots on, lots to do. Sometimes I'll just like have a day off here or there though if I'm like feeling I need to. I've been um, prioritizing rest days because I got really burnt out um, like a year ago and it was really hard for me to bounce back from that. So I've been prioritizing rest days and like fun activities and stuff and not trying to work so hard. So I've been like stopping work at like uh, five or six o'clock sort of thing rather than working all the way up until midnight like I used to do. Which it has been hard for me to do that because I just love what I do. But I also need to kind of like, I do need to do that and like kind of take a step back a little bit at times. So otherwise I just get to, yeah, I'll be in here all day. Happy birthday. Where do you get your fabric from? I get it from Spotlight. Thanks for catching the live. Um, do you have any advice for pricing products? I've been doing markets for years, but I'm starting to wonder if I'm underpricing. Um, I think a good way to gauge if you're like underpricing is kind of like look at other people, um, whether that be online or be in your like community space, like how much they're selling theirs for. And like, if you find the consensus is that you're like really far under, you probably are underpricing. But if they're, you know, only a little bit more expensive or, you know, maybe you're more expensive than them, you're probably like around the same price that you want to be at. Um, I started off quite cheap. And then um, as I got more, my skills developed and I got bigger, online I up my pricing because I physically could not make as many scrunchies as like I was selling and I just found a sweet spot where um, I can sort of manage the orders and the online stock um, like the online stock and the market stock without like yeah being too burnt out from it um, but obviously I did yeah work my way up to that point and even now, I'm still a little bit cheaper than, you know, the other scrunchy people that are, like, really big on TikTok and stuff. Like, I'm still not quite as expensive as them. Um, but, I mean, I'm close enough to being that price. Okay, I'm going to read a couple more con comments and then I'm going because I've been on for three and a half hours and I feel like I can't even feel my tongue at this point. <laughs> I've been talking too much. Um, alrighty, let's have a looky. So it's people from England and America. I feel like they're most of the comments on YouTube just saying hi and stuff. So, hello, guys. <laughs> how, oh, I can't even read that. How long had you been going or how much had you made before you did legal stuff for the business? Um, I... I think it was, like, two or three years before I got, like, my ABN and stuff and, like, started doing it properly because I was doing like sort of like as a hobby sort of thing 
Um, it might not even have been that long. I think it might have been two years. I reckon two and a half years. Um, I did everything properly and like started paying um, like all the taxes and stuff because I, I started earning over like for in, in Australia, if you earn under $18,000 across all of your income stuff, um, you don't have to pay tax on it. It's like tax free threshold or around about um, that amount. So when I started like projecting that I would earn over that much, I was like, okay, well, I need to actually do this properly. Um, so I started, yeah, doing like all the ABN and doing all the tax stuff, paying all the taxes. And then I think I had to start paying GST, what would have been 2020 maybe or 2019. I like hit my first 100K or like just under. So I had to start paying GST um, around the end of one of those years um, because I, over 75,000, you have to pay GST on all your products in Australia. So um, that was more recent, but yeah. So I think, I don't know, I can't remember if, uh, it'll be on ABN Lookup or whatever, but that will be like whatever year it says that it was registered. It might even be registered the next year. I might have registered in 2015 and then did the, the tax that year actually. I just remember I didn't have to pay tax on the actual stuff until I earned over that $18,000 mark um, between all my jobs because I had this business and I had Kmart as well. Um, that's probably, that's my final answer. Yeah. I think it was the next year I did the ABN stuff and then like, was like, Hey, this is my business, um, to my accountant at the time. Okay. I've just finished doing all this. Hang on. So, look. so I got two piles there, big pile and another big pile. So I still need to iron all these and then make them into bows. There's quite a, literally a few hundred just sitting here, but that took ages. Alrighty, I'm just gonna quickly make sure I haven't missed any comments. No, I think that's it. Um, ABN means Australian business number for anyone that's not in Australia. Um, that's what you need to like, yeah, do all your taxes. Um, okay, well, <laughs> I'm gonna go now. <laughs> Um, I'm just trying to read these last comments, just make sure I haven't missed anything. I just cut myself with the fist gears again, has this happened to you? I've actually only done it once and it's because I like went to grab it and I accidentally like grabbed it, which is um, like the rotary cutter. This one actually has a protective like thing that comes out, but I've never done that again because <laughs> um, it hurt the first time. <laughs> so yeah, um, but yeah, I hope you're okay. <laughs> That does not sound um, pleasant. I feel like I should keep all these because it's going to be... I can use these for the middle parts. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining my live um, on both TikTok and YouTube. I will see you guys possibly tomorrow or the next day because I want to come back on. But it depends on how I'm feeling and how much work I've got done because I do not get a lot of work done on this because <laughs> I just talk too much. Anyway, um, thank you so much. Bye. Um, I have to like try and do this both at the same time.